Welcome to the Meyer Festival of Races, the Golden Mile. Go Trojans! We're going to start introducing these Golden Milers. First of all, all the way from Kenya, number two, Philip Lagat. Hi, my name is Jason Bigel, and I'm from Rochester, Michigan. Hi, I'm Steve Ludwig. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Ian Boyle, and I'm from Pinckney, Michigan. Juan Carrillo, I'm from Indianapolis. Hi, my name is Philip Lagat. I'm from Kenya. Hi, I'm Richard Kandia from Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Hey, my name is Moses Guerrero. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. I'm Daniel Clark from Jackson, Michigan. David Brent, I'm from Monroe, Michigan. Hi, I'm Sarah Price, and I'm from East Lansing, Michigan. I'm Danielle Quisenberry. I live in Hillsdale, Michigan. I'm Erin Webster. I'm from Dearborn, Michigan. I'm Susie Rivard, and I am from Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm Molly. I'm from Minnesota. <laughs> National Cherry Festival, Golden Mile, and it's come back after a few years, and the winner is Moses Warrera. Tell us about running uh, around the block and down the street at the Cherry Festival. Uh, yeah, I would say uh, running around the, the, the street was a little bit difficult, but you know, we had a good race and we, have a good, we had a good field athlete, so it was kind of very nice. It's not that hot. And, uh, we tried to do all the best, but we were trying to break a new course record, but it didn't happen. But we really like it, the course. It's very good, and I hope I'll come back next year and try to do something else. Can you tell what's different about a mile on the track and a mile on the road? 
Uh, yeah, um, this mile it's almost the, like the track because you kind of go around and at the curve, uh, but it's very different between the street mile like the one I did in uh, Ma Ma Madison, Madison High last weekend. So we did very good and uh, we were thinking maybe we could break the course record, but it's kind of hard, but we try all our best. Well, you have turns and you have a harder surface, and I guess that makes a difference too, right? Yeah, it makes very different. Uh, the the difference is how, uh, how to make curves and curve again, though it could be a, it was a very difficult for us too. Yeah. And well, you, you don't exactly know where you are, like on the track, you do know. Uh, well, I haven't doing, done track in a, this season, like almost four years, so I'm trying to get back and see how I can do next year. Well, it looks to me like you did pretty well and you have a good start on the season. Congratulations. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it for your time. We're at the final day of the National Cherry Festival in Traverse City, Michigan, and we're with the race director and the guy from Running Fit who brought back the Golden Mile. Eric Houghton, tell us how the Traverse City Track Code got this going again. Uh, Brian Burns, really uh, the co-race director with me, it was, uh, it was really his idea. Um, a couple of years ago we wanted to bring the Elite Mile race to Traverse City and we thought to bring the Gold Mile back was the way to do it. And last year we did it as a part of the film festival because we weren't organized quite early enough. So the race um, was in, at the very end of July last year and this year with the help of Lisa Taylor who's the race director of the Cherry Festival 5K, 15K, um, and with uh, Tim Hinckley from the National Cherry Festival, we were able to get on board to bring the Gold Mile back here with two elite races. So. And Running Fit is one of the sponsors, and Daniel Siderman, you're in charge of the store where everything started this morning. How did Running Fit get involved? Well, uh, I'm good friends with uh, Eric Houghton and, and Brian Burns. Brian Burns and I uh, co-race direct the Bayshore uh, events as well. And uh, I just help out where I can, you know, like any uh, good running shop would do. Um, so we're just happy to be a part of it. And uh, Randy Stepp and uh, Running Fit are sponsoring one of the runners today in the race. I believe uh, Philip finished third today. Well, Eric, one of the things that's uh, special about this is you had a great field in both the men and the women's race. And part of it is the prize money. How did you come up with the money? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. The Traverse City Track Club has been so supportive of running in northern Michigan and really all throughout Michigan. But as the organizers of the Bayshore Marathon, um, the Traverse City Track Club has just been so benevolent and so helpful. And they, they did everything this year. I mean, they, they're, they are the ones that put up all the prize money and helped with all the expenses for the race this year. And um, next year, we're hoping to get a couple of, um, of other corporate sponsors on board, um, looking for uh, some others to, to help us out with this. But the Track Club wanted to make sure this event came back, and they knew that one of the best ways to do that is to throw a little money out there for these athletes and we had a lot of runners who were co collegiate runners that just graduated and this is really one of their first races where they actually had a chance to win money so it's kind of exciting for a couple of them I think so well it was not only exciting for the runners it was exciting for the crowd the crowd was really happy to see it back and they really got into it so congratulations running fit and Traverse City Track Club Daniel Siderman and Eric Houghton thank you so very much thank you so much thanks guys